hello and we're, we're back, back for another season wow and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be predicting each team nfl record yes welcome back to uh nfl season predictions 2023 slash 24 predictions it's an exciting year and we're gonna start off with the buffalo bills you go first I think the Buffalo Bills end the season 10 and 7. Well, I gotta go. I don't think they do that good either. I'm gonna say 11 and 6. Oh. I think 11 and 6, I could see them there. Next up, we got the J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The New York Jets. I see the New York Jets going 9 and 8. I think the Jets surprise people. They are at 9 and 8, according to him. I think they go. I think they go 11 and, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go 10 and 7 here. Do the safe pick. Jets 10 and 7. Now, next up, we got our New England Patriots. Oh, they're a team that I'd love to see do well, but I just don't see it happening with how good this division is. But I do like my Patriots. Um, I'm gonna go the Patriots at 10 and 7. 10 and 7. That's a good season with the Patriots. Unfortunately, I do not have them doing good. I put them at 7 and 10. If they somehow go 10 and 7, I'd be the happiest person in the world. Okay, next up we got the Miami Dolphins. I like the Dolphins. I think they're a good team, but I think they're going to end up at 8 and 9. As you see, we want to That's what I was going to say before you wrote it down, yeah. Okay, so we both, as you hear... See the Dolphins uh, going 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Yeah. All right. So next, the Cincinnati Bengals. And I have the Bengals doing very good this year. I think they're going to have a whopping 14-3 and three record. I like the Bengals, too. I'm going to go 13-4 and four for the Bengals. And now we have the Ravens. The Ravens, I also think, are going to have a pretty decent season. I'm going to put them in at 11-6. and six. Well, I think the Ravens do good. And then Lamar gets injured again. So oh, I'm going to give them a 8-9 and nine final record. Uh -oh. But you'll see the division's good, and they'll get last in the division. All right, now we got the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I think the Steelers do good. I think they start off the season very good. I think they wind up going 11 and six, but have a great season. So 11 and six for the Steelers. I like the Steelers. They're a good young team with a lot of good talent, um, and you know they're always they're always they always compete. However. Um, I see them this season going nine and eight. All right, and the Cleveland Browns. Wow, wow. Although Deshaun Watson supposed to be their savior, I don't know. Until it happens, I don't see it happening. What do you think, Benny? I don't know. I see the Browns going eight and nine. I think they'll get some nine. wins, but not enough. They will be able to get third place in the division, though. So mm. that's good. I'm gonna go seven and ten for the Cleveland Browns. Okay. Yeah. Probably the worst division in the AFC. Probably. The South. And let's start off with the Indianapolis Colts. And this one's an interesting one. They could either do horrible or they can surprise people. They do good. Well, Anthony Richardson's supposed to be one of the most exciting young quarterbacks going. But they just lost Jonathan Taylor to the pup list. Yeah. So what do you do? What do you? I mean, who knows what's going to happen give them, with the Colts. I, I'll give them... Four or five wins. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I'm not that far behind. I'm going to give them five wins. I'll five and twelve? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of with you. I'm going to go six and eleven. Six, six and eleven for the Colts. Like the high for them. Okay. Yeah. Now the Titans. Titans could yeah. be good. They got DeAndre Hopkins, which is exciting. Um, But their quarterback is still Tannehill, right? Yeah. I don't know. I think I say nine and eight. And I think the Titans shock everyone. Mm -hmm. and I think they go eight and nine. They go <laughs> nine and eight. But I think it's Will Levis leading the the strings by the end of the season. I think Will Levis is going to prove himself as is rookie of the year. He is. Oh. They took him in the second round, oh. but he was supposed to go like third over. Him, so. Oh, okay. I think nine and eight. Jags, I think, are probably going to be the best team in this division. Yeah, I would say well, so. But I still too. don't think they're going to be that great. I would say the Jags are going to finish at 10 and 7. 10 and 7. Well, I actually have the Jags doing better than that. Yeah. 
I think the Jags. I don't know why they're gonna be twelve and five. Give them twelve wins here. All right. And the lowly Texans, who have two, who had two of the top three picks in the draft. I'm gonna. I'm giving them three and fourteen. I think that's the. I don't see the Texans doing anything this year. However, they could get a few upset wins. They, you never know. But you never know. Texans. I'm gonna go two and fifteen on the Texans. I don't see, see much happening for that. Alright, so now we got the Denver Broncos. This may surprise you. With Sean Payton leading the way, and will Russell Wilson rebound and be the Russell Wilson of old? I think they have a good season. I think they have an okay season. I'm going to go 8-9 for the Broncos. I think they go 10-7. 10-7 versus 8 nine. And don't make the playoffs. Actually, we'll Ooh. see if they make the playoffs or not. 10-7 and seven is not a lock for the playoffs anymore. It is not. No. So the L.A. Chargers. Uh, the Chargers, I think, they're another team that, you know, gonna. I think they're going to be a really good team that finishes just a little bit above 500. So I think they're going to go 10-7 and, seven Ten and seven. on my watch, yeah. Well, funny enough, I got the Chargers going 11-6. Hey. And and that, they're going to have a good season. They're going to surprise folks. And now we got the defending Super Bowl champion <laughs> Chiefs. Chiefs. What do you say about the Chiefs? I don't think the Chiefs are going to be as lights out as everyone thinks they're going to be. I think losing the enemies is going to be kind of a, uh, a, a sour note for them. And I think the Chiefs are going to end up at 11-6. and six. Enough to win the division. But you know they're not gonna be. Really? Okay. They're not gonna be anything crazy. Well, I think they keep on going. Uh, sadly, I need to admit it, but the Chiefs are gonna keep on going. I think they have another great season, at thirteen and four this time. But they're gonna struggle in the beginning of the year and pick it up as the year goes on. I think the Pats beat the Chiefs though in Week Thirteen in that game. Mm, that'd be great. Prediction. I'd love that. And now the Raiders. The Raiders. I want to like the Raiders. I mean, they get. It's like. You, it's like uh, Patriots West, basically, but it ain't happening. I don't think McDaniels is going to succeed being a head coach, uh, sadly. And I don't necessarily trust Garoppolo. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have a lot of faith in the Raiders. I'm going to say they're going to come in last at like seven and ten. All right. Well, I got them coming. I think they'll get a few upset wins this year, but I'm gonna, I'm giving them six and eleven. So, I got the Bengals getting the one seed, the Chiefs with the two seed. The three seed's gonna go to the Jaguars, and I think the four seed's going to the Bills. The fifth seed is gonna go to the Steelers. Six seed to the Chargers, and seven seed to the J E T S Jets. 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 And now for you. It looks like I got the Bengals also coming in at the one seed. Two seed going to the Chiefs. So far the same. And this is where it changes. The Patriots coming in at the three seed, finishing ten and seven. Surprise of the AFC East. Five seed, sorry, the four seed will go to the tight the Jags. Jaguar. The Jaguars. The five seed in the first wild card spot will go to the Ravens, followed by the Bills, and closing it up with the Chargers. Alright, so now we are on to the NFC. NFC, here we so, come. So Green Bay Packers. Oof. I think they Surprise people here. I don't think so. I think the Packers are in a rebuild, and I think it's going to take time for them to get good. But I give them a, an okay record at eight and nine. I'd say. Yeah, I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt. Nine and eight for the Packers. The Chicago Bears. The Bears. I think they're going to have a good season this year. I think they're going to do better with Justin Fields, but I don't think they're going to be amazing. I think they're going to be decent though. Ten and seven. I see the Bears. Ten and going. seven. Ten and seven this year. I see, the well, I see them doing good. I think they're going to go a whopping 11 and 6. Wow. Surprising everyone. Now, the Detroit Lions. I think they also have a great year. And I think they're going to win the division with a, and a, with a 12 and 5 record. I like the uh, Lions to win the division too. Uh, I also think they're going to go 12 and 5. The Vikings. Vikings disappointing. Winning no the Dalvin division Cook. Last year. I think they. Stink it up. Stink it up. They go 8 and 9. Just yeah, I'm with you the there. Playoffs. I'm with you there. I'm going to go 9 and 8 on the Vikings. That's a good division. 
NFC East. The defending Super Bowl losers. Yes, the defending Super Bowl losers. <laughs> the Eagles, and I think the Eagles, I think they come back. I don't think they do as good as last year. I agree. They do lose some pieces, but I still think they go 12-5 here. I like it. I like it. I think you're, uh, uh, I see 11-6 and six for the Eagles. Giants. Giants, I, I don't like it as much, but I still think they're going to be decent, um, but not enough to do any damage. 8 and 9. I think the Giants disappoint everyone. 0 oh, and 17. Woo! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Giants yes. are a good team. I have to go with my, my gut saying and what I think is going to happen, not what I want to happen. So Giants go 9 and 8. And I think the Cowboys are going to be um, a little better than mediocre. I see them coming in at 10 and 7. 10 and 7. Well, I got them at 11 and 6. Okay. I think they'll be good. I think Trey Lance, we're going to see some Trey Lance action this year as well. Think so? Yeah. And now, we're down to the Commanders. Commanders. I'm a fan of Sam Howell. I think he could be a good, a good, sorry, Mosquito. <laughs> uh, I could see him doing all right. Uh, but still, not quite enough to do anything significant. I see them coming in at about... Seven and ten. Well, I think they do good this year. I think a nine and eight record, but not enough to make in the playoffs. Mm. So now, why the worst division in the NFC? The South. Yeah, really. Who do you pick here? Oof. Saints. Let's start at Saints. I'm going to give them an above. I'm I think the Saints have the best chance to do the best in this division out of all these lowly, crappy teams. Mm. I'm going to go Saints nine and eight. Oh. And I think that's going to be the best record in our division. Well, I got the Saints going 8-9. and nine in a, I don't believe in Dennis Allen. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from him. him. Is he the coach? Yeah, he, did, he disappointed me last year, but Dennis Allen, I don't know. So 8-9 and nine for the Saints. Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. I don't think they have much hope. Uh, you never know. Baker Mayfield does surprise sometimes. But still, I don't see much happening for the Buccaneers. I see them going four and thirteen. Four and thirteen. Mm-hmm. Baker Mayfield. I think the Bucks are on this. I'm going to give them the worst record in the league. Three and fourteen. Now the Panthers. Panthers. Chase Young is that the guy? Yeah. Guy? Yeah. Is he is he going to be a difference maker? Adam Thielen is there. Is there a wide out now? I, mean, I, I think they get it. like six I wins this I year. See much six happening. and eleven. I got the Panthers. I'm gonna go five and twelve. And now, with my shock, I think Witter's not the guy. Witter is not. But I think Heineke comes in and, in and leads. Heineke's them. on the Falcons. Yeah, and oh. leads them to a winning record at nine and eight, huh. and gives them the division. Really? Not me. I don't like the Falcons. I think they're still gonna stink it up. I'm gonna put the Falcons in at three and fourteen. Now the final division, the North. You got the... Oof. I think the Cardinals are going to run away with this. They're going to go 17-0. and 0. I agree. <laughs> uh, no, that's obviously a joke. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's actually going to go with the Cardinals. I think the 49ers are going to run away with this division. It's not even going to be close. I like the 49ers finishing at 14-3. and three. Uh, I agree with you there. And I'm going to say they finished 14 and 3. The Lambs. I think the Lambs have a comeback year. A yeah. prove it year. I think they do it. And I think the Lambs 12 and 5. I don't have it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Sean McVay. Not... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go mediocre and I'll go 10 and 7 on the Rams. 10 and 7. Pretty good. Yeah. And now the Seattle Seahawks. 10 and 7 as well. I think the Seahawks do good. I don't know. We'll see if they make the playoffs, but I think they have a good 11-6 season. And finally, the seller of the National Football League. 15-2 and two Cardinals. Shocking everyone. I got them at 1-16. and 16. I think the Cardinals are going to be the best team. And you know what? I got them winning the Super Bowl. So I hope I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's kidding. I I'm, gonna, I'm giving them 2-15. and 15. Be nice when Murray comes back. For my first seed, I got the 49ers. The second seed, the Eagles. The third seed is going to be the Lions. And the fourth seed, Falcons. The fifth seed is going to be the Lambs. 
the sixth seed, the Cowboys, and of course the seventh seed, the Chicago Bears. Of course. And now for you, <laughs> the one seed. 49ers coming with the one seed with the with the Lions getting the two seed. Wow. The Eagles getting the three seed. Four seed goes to the Saints. Five seed goes to the Cowboys. The six seed goes to the Seahawks, and the seven seed goes to the Bears. We are now doing predictions all right, for the playoffs. Predictions from all our seeds that we predicted and the records and whatnot. I see the Lions beating the Bears in round one. I see the Eagles beating the Seahawks also in round one. And then I see the Cowboys beating the Saints. So now in the AFC? In the AFC, I see the Chargers upsetting the Chiefs. I see the Pats upsetting, even though they're a higher seed, Bills in round two. And, and then I see the Ravens beating the Jags. And we got the right. Cowboys and the Niners. Uh, I see the Niners beating the Cowboys. And then I see the Lions beating the Eagles. Wow. Chargers beating the Bengals. Huge upset in round two. That's and good. I see the Pats beating the Ravens. Then I see oh. the Pats beating the Chargers. And the Lions beating the 49ers and a Pats Lions Super Bowl. And we will come back to it. We'll Super come Bowl back to it. So we got in the the two seat Chiefs and the seven seat JTS Jets. 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 Big hit. The Chiefs beat the JTS Jets. 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 The Chargers take on the Jags after last year, an upset that was ugly for the Chargers. I think this time the Jags win. Jags win. Steelers, Bills. I got an upset here. I think Pittsburgh pulls off the W. So I think the Steelers move on. Steelers move on. So now in the Does Big NFC. Ben come out of retirement? No, pick it. Oh. Now Bears, Eagles. I got the Bears losing to the Eagles. Cowboys take on the Lions. And I think the Lions will pull it off. So I think the Lions get a win. Here in the playoffs and the Cowboys... Be a William Bears. Rams Falcons would be like the worst playoff game ever. And Rams Falcons, the <laughs> best playoff game ever. <laughs> now it winds up being crap, but I think the I'll go Rams here. Yeah. And now for 49ers versus Rams. I gotta go Rams! with the Rams. <laughs> I gotta go with the Rams. I think they're gonna upset them. Wow, really? No. Oh. 49ers to the championship game. <laughs> And uh, I think the, the Eagles beat the Niners, the Lions. As much as I'd like to see the Lions beat the Eagles, it's not going to happen. Eagles beat Lions. And Bengals, Steelers, I think that will be a good one. And I think the Bengals win. And I think when the Chiefs play the Jags, I think the Jags pull an upset here. The Jags will beat the Chiefs. And the championship like for Bengals, Jags, 49ers, and Eagles. And I think 49ers, Eagles, and I think 49ers take the win here. And in the Super Bowl, the 49ers are going to be playing the Bengals. In the, in the Super Bowl, right, yes. So that's now it's meant. time for your Lions Pat Super Bowl prediction. Two teams that will most likely not make it. <laughs> <laughs> and you could do a score. First. You never know. <clears throat> I see, I mean, my heart tells me the Pats beat the Lions, but my brain tells me that the Lions beat the Pats. Lions ain't super. But this is a total prediction that's coming from me, so I'm going to go Pats over the Lions, 28-24, with the Super Bowl MVP going to none other, none other than Hunter Henry. Who's your regular season MVP? Regular season MVP is probably going to have to be Christian McCaffrey. Okay, not a quarterback. All right, so my regular season MVP is no other than Joe Burrow. And my Super Bowl MVP, <laughs> we'll have to wait. I'm not <gasps> telling you yet. No, you get to talk so about the game now, first, right? 49ers, Bengals. I think Bengals win, but I think it's a good game. I'm going to say Bengals. I think the Bengals win it by three. I think Bengals 31, Niners 28. It'll be a good game. And MVP also goes to Dream Guy, Jamar Chase. <laughs> uh, but Jamar Chase is going to get some spotlight. Dream Guy! And 
It's a nickname. That's something you won't get. And yeah, so. So there you have it, folks. Yeah. That's lock it, lock it, and seal it. That is what's going to happen with this season in the NFL. And if it does, you heard it here first. Apologize. Yeah. Well, we don't apologize. We just made bad predictions. Yeah. But, but we're going to come back and make predictions every week for you, just like we always do. And it's going to be stellar. So, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, yeah. First pick in my fantasy draft this Saturday. Tomorrow. Wh who where, do you think? Where do you pick? What number? I picked 10th last, but you can say who Did you do a lottery for it? I did. Oh. You couldn't guess. Where do who? I pick? You pick fourth, I think. But, uh, but you get to. Uh, last? You're probably going to end up with uh, Jonathan Taylor. No, I, I'm saying <laughs> you could. Will Jonathan Taylor play this who season? Who do you think goes first overall? Will Jonathan Taylor play this season? Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I think he'll play on the Colts when he finally decides Maybe game to five. give up. No, I think it'll be long. Really? Yeah, he'll play eventually. And I drafted him in the third round of the fantasy team. Yep, he Boy, sure did. That was a bad call. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> you pushed me to do it, though. I but... think a wild prediction, Josh Allen, first of all, last year. I'm going to say, first pick in our fantasy draft is going to go to... Probably JJ. Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott? Kicker? <laughs> yeah. No, probably, yeah, probably Justin Jefferson. Probably hopefully. Nick Folk. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I do as well. And Thank you for we'll tuning in. We'll be back in. every week for our weekly Benny promised it wouldn't be a long one, but lo and behold, <laughs> it was a long one. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if this yeah. is the first time you are watching. But thanks All right, for watching. We love you. And as Tune always, sign I'll see up. you next time. Sign Bye. up. Give us a like.